Okay, basically, this is how we prank our friends. All these icons. Woo! Hit print screen. That'll take an image. You want to make sure the mouse is off of the screen. So hit print screen. That makes the image. Then you're going to open up. Oh, I see I'm running dual monitors here, so I forgot to do that. Okay. Normally you would want all of these things to be closed, but we're not worrying about that. Print screen, and you open paint, or just really any imaging software will work. I like paint. And then just paste the image. I have two screens here, so I have to get rid of this second screen. Which is kind of annoying. And all you have to do is save that picture. Go desktop. Then you close. Here's your image. It's awesome. Set as desktop background. Properties. Hit stretch just to make sure it's filling everything. Then you take all your icons and move it into, you know, the desktop icon. I'm moving them just out of the way. But now, it's like, oh my god, why aren't my buttons working? And if you really want to be sneaky, you just go ahead, put this on auto hide, which is under properties, and then be a brat and like. Oops, that's not supposed to happen. Delete shortcut. Just put this up here or something so that it hides. And then none of that works. It's like, oh my god, why isn't it working? Anyway, that's all you have to do. It's pretty awesome. Normally what I would do is I would have my actual desktop file that would be kind of sitting on top of it. If you if you hit center, uh, that you just kind of kind of work with it. Um, I have mine set on tile, so just do don't don't align to the grid. Then you can move kind of move that. Or what you can do is not have that file just hide that file for the time being so that when you take the picture that will actually be an empty spot so you can put that there and they wouldn't notice but because you don't want to actually delete all the shortcuts just move it into the desktop file yep it's basically awesome and that's that